Today I will review the latest CarPlay Media USB adapter from the famous MMB brand called Max Ultra, which is their early 2025 launched model. Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. MMB is one of the top brands in the car electronics industry and is my personal favorite brand. I have reviewed most of their previous models on my channel and they've performed really, really well. So much so that the previous Max 5.0 is still my top recommended model. Now, this new Max Ultra model is very similar to the 5.0 model in terms of the specifications, with two main differences. This Max Ultra model comes in a much nicer looking and compact design. And the second one is the addition of the HDMI out port, which is a great functional feature which was missing in the 5.0 model. Other than that, this model runs on the Android 13 operating system which is powered by the latest and powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 622580 octa-core processor supported by 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded with a micro SD memory card. It's got the standard wireless iPhone CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto connectivity. This device is enabled with the 4G internet connection so you can either insert a SIM card or connect this device with your mobile's hotspot to enjoy apps like YouTube, Netflix, Live TV, Spotify, navigation and many more. Now let's first do a quick unboxing to check out the contents in the box and then I will connect it in my car and test the different functions and features of this new MMB Max Ultra CarPlay Media USB adapter. So keep watching guys. All right, friends, so this is all we get uh, inside this box. So you get the standard user guide or the user manual. Then you get uh, the cables to connect this device with the car. Now it comes with two cables. Uh, this is a type C to type C cable, depending on the connection in your car, the USB slot, um, you need to use one of these cables. Now this one end connects with the device, which is a type C and the other end connects with the USB slot in your car. Now my car is a type C connection. So I will be using this uh, device but if your car has a type A connection which most of the cars do like this one then you need to connect this with the USB slot in your car and this type C connects with the device so basically you just need to use one of these devices th these cables depending on the connection in your car and then finally we've got this MMB Max Ultra CarPlay AI Box USB adapter now as I said earlier this is upgraded to the previous 5.0 model and one of the biggest upgrade is the, the device, the casing and uh, basically the device itself very different to the previous model but this one looks very very nice and stylish again it's a very slim design a very compact lightweight it's all plastic you've got the led lights appear when you connect uh, with the car um, and as you can see it's a very nice and stylish kind of uh, design now in terms of the connections so on this side you have the two connections uh, you've got uh, the tf card or the micro sd card connection as well as the sim card slot there you go. And then on the other side, you have the type C connection to connect it with the car as well as the micro HDMI slot. So this is where basically you connect the USB uh, HDMI cable that then connects with the backseat entertainment screens in your car. Now, this is a micro HDMI. So you might need to buy one of these um, mini or micro uh, HDMI converter adapter so basically you just simply connect this and like this and then onto this you connect a regular HDMI cable and the other end then connects with the backseat screens in your car and this way you can get the content from the main screen also appear and displayed on the backseat screens all right so looks quite nice. Um, I really like this new uh, compact shape uh, compared to the previous 5.0 model. Now let me take this to my car, connect it, and then we start testing the different functions and features of this new MMB Max Ultra CarPlay AI Box USB adapter. So keep watching guys. All right, friends, so I'm in my car and I've got this uh, MMB Max Ultra device with me. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll connect this with a USB plug in my car. But at the same time, I would like to see how long does this device take to start and get to the main home page or the landing page of the Android operating system on this device. So I've got my stopwatch ready with me. So now let me connect this device.
Let's start the timer. Alright, so it takes around 30 seconds. So 30 seconds for this device to start and get to the home page or the landing page of the Android 13 system on this MMB Max Ultra device. Now just keep in mind that this time is just an indicative time. Um, you know, in some of the newer model cars with a fast system, it might be about 5-10 seconds quicker. Or if you've got a slightly older car with a smaller or a slower processor, it might take 5 seconds, 7 seconds more. So I'm testing this in my Volkswagen ID4 and it takes around 30 seconds for this device to start and get to the home page or the landing page that looks like this. All right, so this is the main page, the landing page, the home page of the Android system on this device. It's exactly the same as the MMB Max 5.0. Um, now you might notice a bit of flickering on the recording. It's not because of the car screen, it's just because of my camera. Uh, so excuse me for that. Now, um, so this is exactly the same user interface as the 5.0. So in terms of the system, the user interface, the specifications, this, this device is exactly the same as the 5.0 model with just two main different is one is the design the pack and uh, the outer case which is very nice looking and the HDMI out port which has been included otherwise the specifications and everything else is exactly the same as the 5.0 model so this is the the main page landing page you've got navigation on the left side you've got shortcuts to CarPlay Android Auto on the right side navigation and uh, right at the bottom you've got uh, the time date and connectivity on the bottom left you have these buttons that take you to the full app view and then you've got the voice assistant and then you also have space to add six favorite applications on this main page so very nice very easy to use um, kind of a user interface you know if you are not a tech savvy person you can still use this because it's very nicely laid out i really like the design the color combination um, so as i said you've got all these at the bottom but if you click on these dots it basically takes you to the full app view so these are all the applications that are installed on this device and quite a few of them are pre-installed but I have uh, also installed some extra ones just for the for the test today but you can see you know most of them were installed and you've got all the important applications pre-installed on this device and very quick to um, operate you know when you move from one screen to another it's very quick there is no lag at all so that's a really good sign um, now coming back to the home page now just keep in mind that this device works only in cars that support wired carplay or the android auto system so if you like this you want to buy this uh, simply uh, check the compatibility of your car before you know purchasing or ordering this device so the other thing is that this device is ideal for cars with touch screen like this car uh, but if you have a car without a touch screen, you know, if you have a car with one of those, you know, the trackpad or the knob controls or the buttons on the side or the buttons on the steering control, um, you can still use this device through those controls or the more convenient way is to just simply get one of these air mouse or gyro remote control, air mouse remote control, which is, uh, you know, very cheap. I think it's about $10 and uh, you can then get this connected with the bluetooth on the device itself and then you know start operating this device through the cursor which is very very easy and convenient um, instead of just using the trackpad or the no controls which are not you know always very easy to to use so what you need to do is simply go to the settings go to the more settings go to connected devices pair a new device and then just switch on the bluetooth on this okay so we should be able to see the new there you go so ble remote control click on this it will pair it and it's connecting now and it's connected now you can see the cursor on the screen excuse me for this flickering um, but as you can see it's very easy you can use the screen you can use all all the options that you have you can click on the all all app view and then you can simply swipe right left with this remote control itself so for all those cars without a touch screen this is a must have device so you can get the device get this about 10 12 dollar remote control and then it makes it so easy for uh, you to operate this device with this you know, the gyro cursor option or the you know the buttons on the remote control as well
All right, so this device can be used uh, with internet connection if you want to use applications like YouTube, Netflix or other applications or you can even use this without the internet connection if you want to use the offline navigation or if you, if you want to play videos or audio, audio content through the micro SD card. So if you want to connect this device with internet, you have two options to do that. You can either insert a SIM card. So this device has a SIM card slot and you can insert your SIM card and uh, it's got the 4G connection which is quite fast or you can simply connect this with your mobile's hotspot you know that's what i usually do and uh, and you can easily do that simply go to the network settings look for the internet and network connection in wi-fi and then within internet just look for your uh, device and connect i've already connected this with my mobile's hotspot and you can see it's already connected here so very easy Two methods of connecting this to internet, either use the, your own SIM card or you can connect this with their uh, mobile hotspot. All right. So now, um, you know, what we will do is in this video, I will start testing some of the important and uh, frequently used uh, application. Um, so let's start off by testing the most important app, which is the YouTube app. There you go. So it's quite quick to load the YouTube app. Um, as I said, this is one of the fastest processor in the market, um, the 6225, 680 model, uh, which is quite fast. Um, and that's why, you know, when you click on any of these apps, it takes just a few seconds for that app to load. And, you know, within YouTube, when you, you know, scroll up, you will see all the thumbnails that get uploaded instantly. You don't have to wait for the thumbnails to get uh, uploaded. There you go. Okay. All right, so now let's uh, let me play one of my videos. All right, so let's play this uh, Max 5.0 video. Actually All right, so let me drop this volume now. One good thing with this device is that this device is now connected with my car. So actually, I can use the steering wheel controls to operate this device, or I can and I can also get the sound system connected with the car itself. So I can use the volume Today I will review the new to adjust it. Right, and what is important to see here is whether there is any audio to video sync issues. All right, so in this case, you can see it's perfectly in sync. The audio and the video is completely in sync. Yeah, let's go back. Hey friends, I'm Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will review See, the new so it's uh, it's totally in sync, uh, very quick to load the YouTube app. Let's bring down the volume. Um, you can use the steering wheel control to operate the, the volume and other um, controls. Um, you can in fact go to the settings and uh, you can change the output resolution, the quality of this video. It's playing at 480p. You can simply go to the advanced and you know increase that to let's say 1080p which is full HD. Though I don't recommend that because you know in a, in a small screen like this you don't have to, you don't really need to overload the device or your internet connection by playing full HD videos. 720p is more than enough there you go you can see 1080p is playing smoothly absolutely no issues and it's very very clear you can blow this up to full screen as well see so the YouTube app as expected working amazingly well again as I said earlier uh, it's the same system the same specifications the same user interface software as the max 5.0 which is definitely one of the best models in the in the market today and one of my top favorite recommended model which is actually playing right now all right so YouTube playing as expected everything is fine um, now this device comes with built-in GPS system um, which is very nice so you don't have to connect any external GPS antennas with this device um, and um, you know we can test that now so we, can, we have the test here uh, but let's go directly into the navigation app now uh, there is the default Google Maps connected to the main page but you can install your own navigation apps if you want you know I've already installed Waze but if you want other navigation apps like Yango Maps or something else you can certainly do that you can use that you can even connect that to the main screen default application uh, if you want so again just like the YouTube app the navigation is also very quick to load when you click on it um, so let's pick up one of the locations so quite quick there you go 
very quick and um, you know I remember testing 5.0 it was again it's the same system but you know that is one thing which impressed me was the speed of this device um, so this is navigation you know loaded very quickly we can switch off the the voice guidance and uh, again the screen is also quite responsive so the other nice thing is this with this device you don't get to experience any sort of lag when you're operating this device either the user interface or you know any of these applications if itself now just like the 5.0 this device also comes with this very nice split screen function which basically allows you to have two applications running side by side at the same time and the main I would say use of that is you know when you're traveling with your friends or family you can have the navigation running on one side and something playing like YouTube Netflix on the other side so you can focus on the navigation while your family friends can watch something on the screen though I know it's a bit dangerous but you know you have that option available and this uh, device also has this video in motion option which means that even when you're driving the car the videos will play in some of the cars you know when you drive the car you don't get to see any video content any visuals you only get to hear the audio but in this device it allows you to see and watch everything on that video so let's uh, quickly try the split screen function so basically just go to the short menu click on this split screen and then it will open up this um, so click on this option click split left now the navigation has moved to the left side of the screen and then you can pick up one more app let's say YouTube now that plays on the right side of the screen and both these applications are active they're playing so let's play this there you go and then navigation is also working now the other very nice feature within the split screen which you don't find in most of the other devices is the option of changing the size of these screens so if for example if you want to have this size application slightly bigger you can just drag this to to like this size so you have the YouTube playing slightly bigger and then you have the navigation on the left side in a smaller space so this is very very nice and handy feature to have uh, you can do the other way as well like that so a very nice split screen and then within the split screen you have this size adjust size adjustment option which is a very interesting and handy feature to have now I've also inserted a micro SD memory card onto this device um, just to test some of the heavy videos that I have like full HD or 4k so let's go to the file explorer and let's go to the external storage and this is the full listing of all the videos I've got a sample video folder um, there you go and then within this I've got different types of video uh, quality so we can start by playing a full HD 1080p at 60 frames per second all right so this full HD 60 FPS is playing perfectly fine and it's very very clear as you can see I'm not sure if the camera is ju doing justice with a bit of flickering but I can tell you in real life it's crystal clear it's very very nice all right so now let's uh, exit and let's play um, another video I've got a 4k video folder so I just don't recommend playing 4k videos on a small car screen as I said it just overloads the device and you don't really get a lot of better quality you know a full HD or a 4k on a very small car screen you will not see a huge difference between the two videos the, the point I wanted to just check is whether this device is able to play 4k videos right so we tested full HD 60 FPS it's able to play that now let's try the 4k at 24 FPS all right so 24 fps 4k videos are playing fine now let's go slightly slightly higher so 630 fps all right so 4k 30 fps also playing fine let's exit and now let's play slightly uh, slightly higher capacity so 4k at 60 fps all right so 
this is not working right see as you can see it's it's frozen uh, you'll see a bit of lag and buffering as well so this device is able to play 4k video files but not 60 fps you can go maximum up to 30 fps uh, videos but you know i'm quite surprised that this device is able to play any 4k video all right so now let's try to connect the all important wireless apple carplay um, so we just need to click on this carplay icon and then we need to get the iphone and then on the iphone open the bluetooth settings and look for this uh, device called mmb click on that pair the device allow it to sync contacts and favorites that's it so very quick to connect um, maybe a few seconds and then it takes you to the application that's playing on the iPhone I've, I've got Spotify running but uh, it should actually take you to the split screen this is the main home page or the landing page of the Apple CarPlay user interface so again this is a one-time connection with your Bluetooth on the iPhone and then every time you come to the car it uh, detects the connection and uh, is able to connect directly to the Apple CarPlay system the user interface that looks like this so very quick to connect and it's a one-time setup um, now as you can see this is the user interface of Apple CarPlay I will not explain the functions and features of Apple CarPlay in this video all I wanted to see was whether we are able to connect to the wireless Apple CarPlay through this uh, MMB Max Ultra device all right so now let's uh, test the wireless Android auto connection uh, so we click on this Android auto application it takes us to this main instructions page what we need to do is basically go to the Android mobile open the Bluetooth section and then look for this MMB device click on it pair the device and then allow the contact syncing and that's it so very quick uh, in terms of the connection and the messages that you get on your mobile now in a few seconds you should be able to see the home page of the Android auto system on the screen There you go so this is uh, the home page of android auto again it's very quick to connect and this is a one-time connection you just simply need to connect the uh, android mobile through the bluetooth with this device once and then every time you come into your car you will have that connection established and you get an option of directly going into the home page of the android auto system that looks like this um, now this is the main page landing page very similar to the carplay user interface you've got media running on the right side this is the navigation um, i don't have the locations on probably that's why we're not getting the map but then you have some shortcut apps as well as the voice is a google voice assistant input and then these small dots take you to the full app view of all the different applications available and compatible with the android auto system that all looks like this now um, i will not explain the different functions and features of android auto in this video all i wanted to test was whether we can connect to the wireless android auto with this new mmb max ultra device and as you can see it's very quick to connect to you just a few messages that you get on your android phone and then it starts connecting and then a few seconds it gets to the home page of the uh, wireless android auto interface that looks like this now there are so many other applications on this device and i can't really test all of them in this video um, but uh, you have things like you know different app stores so you can install different uh, applications if you don't want to log into the google play store you can use apk pure or other applications uh, then you've got the bluetooth connectivity which is very important so you can connect the bluetooth to your mobile uh, for mobile calling or you can listen to the songs on your mobile through the bt music option you've got uh, the Disney Plus, um, then you've got the browser, you've got the file explorer, um, then you've got things like um, so many other platforms that you can install like HBO Max or um, you know Peacock or Stars. Uh, I've got Netflix which I will test it in a minute but as you can see there are so many other Prime videos, Spotify, uh, TikTok. I don't have login details for most of them so I can't really test them but you have all those apps and they work perfectly fine on this device. Uh, we can quickly test Netflix um, so the Netflix app is working I'm not going to play the videos just for the copyright restriction but as you can see we have the Netflix app working and again the good thing is that when you move up on the screen every all the thumbnails get uploaded and they appear instantly there is absolutely no lag and because the processor is so fast it doesn't take much time uh, for the screen to respond there you go 
So YouTube, Netflix, all those um, you know video streaming applications work perfectly fine on this device. Alright, so the other very nice feature available on this MMB Max Ultra device is called the mobile screen mirroring. Uh, basically, it allows the screen of your mobile to be mirrored on the screen of your car and uh, it can be done for both iPhones as well as Android mobile. So you just simply click, click on this Carbit Link app and uh, once you're on the main home page uh, then what you need to do is simply go to and I'm going to test it on my iPhone only but as I said it works on both uh, Android and iPhone uh, user interface uh, user systems and what we need to do is simply go to um, the iPhone and uh, make sure that its iPhone is connected to the same network as your uh, device and then drop down from top right click on screen mirroring and then you get to see Carbit link on the screen. There you go. So you click on this. And now in a few seconds, we should be able to see the screen of the mobile mirrored on the screen of the car. There you go. So very quick, just a few steps that you need to follow and then it gets connected. And then you have the screen of your mobile appearing on the screen of the car. And the other nice thing is you will not feel much lag. There might be a tiny, tiny bit of a lag when you move the screen of your mobile and the movement on the screen of the car. But but other than that, I think, honestly, it's not even noticeable. It's, uh, it's so small. But uh, for me, it's just fine. No big deal. But you know, I'm, I'm telling you, this is an amazing feature to have in your car. You know, you can mirror anything that you have on the screen of your mobile on the, onto the screen of the car. You can play directly Netflix, YouTube. Uh, you can play your private gallery videos from your gallery and uh, photos on the screen of the car, your own music. So there's so many um, uses of this mobile screen mirroring function. But as you can see, it's such a wonderful feature to have on this device. All right, friends, so the last thing I would like to show you is actually the HDMI connectivity. Now, my car does not have any backseat entertainment screen. So what I've done is basically connected this USB cable, the HDMI port with my computer, just to see if we can get the screen, the, you know, the stuff on the screen on the, um, the other screen through the HDMI connection. So I'm just using my laptop, but if your car has the backseat screens, you simply connect the HDMI plug with your backseat screens, and then you should be able to see the same uh, content that appears on the main car screen on the backseat screens as well. You know, what I'm showing you here is this is the main screen, and uh, you get to see the same screen through the HDMI connection. All right, so there is another very nice application available uh, that you can, um, you know, install it on this device. It's called the IPTV Smartest Pro or you have so many other live TV apps available that you can install and then watch live TV on the screen of your car. No, no, this is one of my favorite apps. I use it a lot, especially when I'm waiting for someone or I'm in the parking or in the car wash, you know, I have like 10, 15, 20 minutes to kill. I just switch on the live TV, you know, catch up on a game or watch a movie movie or anything live. Um, now I can't show you any of the live TV content in this video because of the YouTube restrictions but if you want to know more about uh, how to use the IPTV or how to get a subscription simply contact me either leave me a comment in the section below or contact me directly through my WhatsApp messenger. I've got uh, the QR code direct to my WhatsApp on the screen and you can just scan it and drop me a WhatsApp message and I'll guide you how to get the IPTV on this screen or any Android system. That's it friends. So this was a quick review of this new CarPlay adapter. Um, you know, it's a wonderful device. It basically converts the car screen into a smart TV or a tablet where you where it gives you the option of downloading and enjoying different applications in the comfort of your car. It's an upgraded device to the previous 5.0 model, which is my top recommended model in terms of its performance. So the difference between that 5.0 model and this new Max Ultra model is that this one comes in a nicer case and it has the HDMI out port. Other than that, in terms of the specifications and the actual performance is exactly the same as the previous 5.0 model. So guys, if you want, if you have a car with the backseat screens, then I would recommend you go with this new model because it's got the HDMI out port. Or if you don't have a backseat screens, you can go with the previous MMB Max 5.0 model if you want to, if you don't want to spend extra bucks just for the HDMI port. And I've given you the link to the previous Max 
point or device in the description of this video so guys i've been testing this device for a few days it's a wonderful device not a single problem or glitch i encountered everything works amazingly well it's got all the important features that you want in a carplay adapter um, and you know again another wonderful device from the famous mmb brand i've tested so many of their previous models and all those models have worked very very well it's a very durable and a reliable brand or a device so guys if you like this new mmb max ultra device simply go to the link in the description of the video it will take you directly to the official store where you can buy this new mmb max ultra carplay ai box usb adapter that's it friends if you like my content you can go and support this channel with the super thanks icon below and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos thanks for watching guys